Can you, as a Muslim, claim to be the first and the last? Can you? Can you? No. Mansour, can you be the first and the last? The wedding is happening when? Mansour doesn't want to have that debate. He doesn't want to have that debate. Same as he didn't want to ask about the answer the question about a 41-year-old imam marrying an 11-year-old child. And he has, he has a superiority complex because he thinks that he can go round and demand that everyone does what he tells them to do. So when Muslims come here saying, where does Jesus claim to be God? They really should be thinking, why does Allah claim to be This was the question. So no, there was no question. Because I wasn't entertaining any question on him. So don't just So the question I asked Mansour. A man who was debating a Christian sister, a young Christian sister, for over an hour, was simply, who claims to be the first and the last in the Quran? Every Muslim worth his prayer mat knows the answer to this question. The answer is Allah claims to be the first and the last. Is asking and for the time, Muslims a place, come and, round. and the subject. And the Muslims come round. I will. I will. I will. And Muslims come round. Preaching. Asking come on. the next Sunday I'm here. The next Sunday I'm here. What's the subject? What's the subject? The divinity of Christ. The divinity of Christ. Yeah. There we go. Right. So, the Muslims make the claim. They come round all the time saying, where does Jesus claim to be God? Well, I'll ask any Muslim who can hear my voice or who's watching on YouTube. Can you, as a Muslim, claim to be the first and the last? Can you? Can you? No. Mansour, can you be the first and the last? The wedding is happening when? Mansour, I believe you've got a wedding. No one's denying it. See? So I don't want people to think so, I'm running away. You no, 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 debate. He's still here. <laughs> we could have had a 20-minute debate by now. You wasted enough of my time. We could have had a 20-minute debate by now. But Mansour doesn't want to have that debate. He doesn't want to have that debate. Same as he didn't want to ask about the answer the question about a 41-year-old imam marrying an 11-year-old child. Yes, yes, yes. And who's your example? Muhammad. So, Jesus says, Jesus says, Behold, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me. Who is the one that gives out the reward on Judgment Day? Allah or Jesus? To render to every man according to what he has done. He's claiming the judgment seat of God. The judgment seat of God belongs only to Allah. But Jesus is claiming it for himself. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Jesus is saying he is the first and the last. Allah in the Quran claims he is the first and the last. So who's the first and the last? Jesus or Allah? Don't come to the park saying Jesus does not claim divinity when Allah is stealing the divine titles of Jesus to describe himself as God. 
Jesus claims to be God. Because no one can come before the first and no one can come after the last. This is a title that only belongs to God. And this is a title Jesus claims for himself. It is a claim that Allah claims for himself. Therefore, Jesus has called himself God. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No, they're all done. So, just as a wrap up, let's just do a wrap up. We've had Mansoor, the mighty champion of the Dawa team. The man who comes around making a great display of himself as a man who puts Christians in their place. And he has, he has a superiority complex because he thinks that he can go around and demand that everyone does what he tells them to do. But as I understand it, Shamsi is the caliph here, not Mansour. Now, Mansour argued with a Christian student, a young Christian sister, about the divinity of Jesus for over an hour. And when I challenged him, suddenly he didn't want to speak. And you can get the full debate of that caption on content over everything. The second best channel at Speakers Now, now, content over everything is the second best channel at Speaker's Corner. Now, let's be clear. Christ claims divine titles. He claims to be the resurrection. He claims to be the life. He claims to be the first. He claims to be the last. He claims to be the light of the world. He claims to be almighty. These are titles that Allah of the Quran claims for himself. So when Muslims come here saying, where does Jesus claim to be God? They really should be thinking, why does Allah claim to be Jesus? <laughs> because Jesus was using these titles before Muhammad ever ascribed them to Allah. So Jesus is claiming divinity by Muslims' own logic. And to any Muslim who's listening on YouTube and thinking I am talking rubbish, then let me ask you this question. Would you claim to be the resurrection? Would you claim to be the light of the world? Would you claim to be the first? Would you claim to be the last? And would you denounce any Muslim who did so as being blasphemous? If you would, then your conscience admits to the fact that Jesus indeed claims to be God. The Dawah team is silenced in toto. They can only make arguments against brothers and sisters who have not studied sufficiently. And this is a call to us as Christians to learn our faith well and how to defend it against those worldviews that come against it. Amen.